Would you believe me if I told you that Annabelle has fallen back again for the third day? The third day, guys. You are becoming a pest. You know that, Annabelle? Ooh, it stinks in here. Girl, you stinky. Okay, I shit you not. Every day for the last three days I've come in here and Annabelle has like fallen back. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird because she's in a literal glass box, so it's not like the wind can blow her over. There isn't any wind in here. There's like no draft at all. It's the stuffiest, warmest room of the house, and this thing is enclosed. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like she's haunted. I really should like set up a camera and just like record her and see if it does it. Whew, that'd be creepy. But anyway, guys, what's going on? And welcome back to everybody's favorite day of the week, Tuesday, which means it is Tattoo Tuesday. And today I have a very special uh, thing for us to look at here because, well, I'm gonna show you. It's a little fun surprise. We are going to be looking at this, which I don't know how to pronounce that, but I know in, in English it translates to Happy Smiles. So this is Tattoo's album, Happy Smiles, and this is the, it's of course it's Russian. It's an entirely Russian CD. But not only that, you guys have probably noticed that it's autographed by Tattoo. It's actually autographed by Lena and Julia, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I actually got this one fairly recently from their um, their VK page. So I'm really happy about that. If you wanna see something real fun, check this out. <laughs> yeah, boy, I got two, woo! Now this one I've had for a very long time. I've had it for a, a good while now. I think it was one of the first ones I got. I got this one from eBay. Somebody was selling it. It's in really good condition. In fact, it's still in the, it's not sealed, um, but it's in a, like those things that I always struggle with when I'm doing these videos where it's like just a little flap and then it like sticks. I tried to put this one. This one didn't have one because it came from their website. It came in like an envelope. And uh, I wanted to put it in one of these, but the ones that I have didn't fit this because this one's it because you can see they're in like a, a slide in case and it was just a little bit too big to fit in. That's what she said. <sighs> if I didn't laugh at my own jokes, who would? But that's right. I have two of these. I don't even know why I bought this one. I just got super excited when I saw them post saying there's a few left and on their VK page. And I literally had to, I jumped on within a minute and bought it to the point where the guy who sold it to me from the website said, um, he was like, you're so fast. <laughs> and I was like, I know. And he was like, I haven't even advertised it yet on the actual VK page. It was advertised only just literally three minutes ago on Facebook. And I jumped to the chance to get it. And then he told me there was only four copies left. So I was very lucky to get it. But we're only going to be taking a look at the one because they're both exactly the same. So this one's open already. So we might as well just look at this one. Okay, so there is the autographs. That's Lena's. That's Julia. Um, it, it, it's hard to tell what they've actually written, but they have like very distinct autographs and Lena always signs off with a little heart right there. Um, this one actually has a little bit of smudging on it, which it doesn't bother me, the smudging, because I feel like it's, you know, it's part of its history. You know, it could have been one of the girls that smudged this. Who knows? I like to believe it was one of the girls because Marker doesn't usually smudge when it's dried already. So I'm assuming like one of them signed it and then handed it to the other one and then they signed it and the hand knocked it and smudged it or something. But this one's pretty clean. Um, it's not... There isn't really many smudges on this one. But anyway, again, this is rather unusual for a cover of a CD. We have an astronaut here, what looks like a spaceman. And I have seen some versions which have like a Chinese guy or a Chinese woman in the helmet. Like you, the helmet's not there, but you can just see like the head and it's a Chinese person. And I don't really know <laughs> what the difference is. I've just seen it floating around a little bit. But anyway, that's the front. This is the back, and of course, it looks like Mars. There is uh, what looks like some kind of satellite or something right here, or a space pod. And then there's the spaceman sitting there. Looks like he's having a little think about life. And then you have your list of songs over here. All of them are Russian, except for um, you and I. So all the others, I can't pronounce them. Oh, there's Running Blind and Fly on the Wall, too. They're also English. 
all the others are Russian. This is basically the same thing. It's like a Russian version of Waste Management, that album. All around here is Russian. I can't read any of that to you guys. But anyway, we'll open it up and take a look what's inside. So it slides out like this. And oh yeah, I forgot. I put the cover in differently because I felt like, you know, I have two exactly the same. It's gonna look a little weird. But the good thing about this is you can kind of turn it around. Um, so that's the front cover. And uh, you got Lena right there, Julia. I have seen this image before in I think their waste management album. Um, they're both looking pretty rough. Looks like they're sleeping rough in like some kind of um, power plant or something like that. On the back, this is what it looks like. You just got your list of tracks. There's nothing really to see on the back of it. It's just a plain black background. And when you open it up, this is what I have it like now. Um, I have it exactly the same on both sides. You can either have this as the front of the disc or you can have the picture of the girls as the front. It goes either way. The other one I have, this is the front and this one I thought I would make it a little different and put the girls at the front. Um, but it looks pretty cool like this too because when you open it up, you both you got exactly the same thing on both sides which is like some kind of, uh, it looks like some kind of breaker or something. I'm really not too sure what that is but it looks very, very complicated um and dangerous but anyway we're gonna take out actually i'll show you guys what's behind the cd first you're not gonna be that surprised because check it out oh wait i thought it was gonna be the uh the same as that but that must be another version i'm thinking of i think it's the waste management version this one actually has a bunch of uh oh it's all like the list of the songs yeah it's the list of the songs but it's like printed throughout so that's the titles of the tracks just like handwritten throughout the back of the the, the cd when you take this out don't worry i'm gonna show you what's inside it you can calm your hormones <laughs> so there are some interesting pictures in here you got a picture of um julia this is from the white robe music video where julia is a pregnant woman who gets assassinated and uh, it's pretty graphic it's pretty uh pretty sad the next page there is there's some stuff in the background here but it's hard to tell okay it just looks like the building that they're in um, you can't really see it that well behind the writing, but you can kind of see that there's like the building here and then there's like pipes and cranks and levers and stuff over here. And it looks like there's snow on the ground too. There's always snow. I mean, it is Russia, so I'm not surprised. There's Julia looking very beautiful with a microphone. She looks like a very classy lady right there. Of course, you got the lyrics on like there's a picture and then there's the lyrics to the songs as you go. Here's some more lyrics. Here's a picture of Lena looking very beautiful. Um, and I I think I've seen this one before. Like this, this book might be exactly the same as the Waste Management album. I'm not too sure. But Lena, I have seen this picture of Lena before because I remember thinking like, wow, she has a lot of freckles. Um, you don't really think about it until like you see this picture. She has like freckles everywhere. It's crazy. But she looks so beautiful. How beautiful is Lena, guys? She's so beautiful. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, the next page got the lyrics for Running Blind, and then you got another picture of Lena. In this one, she's looking very beautiful also. Um, like a very, like kind of like Julia in that other picture I just showed you with the hat and stuff. She looks like a very classy, classy lady. Now on the next picture, they don't look so classy. They're both slumbering, both sleeping together on the ground, looking filthy, covered in dirt, half like naked. And it's hard to see because it's dark, but they're just like, there's Lena right here and that's like Julia's legs and that's where Julia's head is and they're both just like sleeping rough it looks like that's on the page with uh, fly on the wall lyrics and on the next page you got some kind of like um, I don't know some kind of crank that goes around I'm assuming you can't really tell from this picture but it looks like something pretty technical and scary and uh, then over here we got a picture of the silhouettes of them which is really cool. It kind of gives that ghostly effect. So I like that too. And again, on the last page, it's a picture of them looking pretty rough and uh, Julia's resting her head on Lena's shoulder. They both look like they've like they've had enough, I guess. They, they're kind of looking a little homeless here and they're just sleeping rough in some kind of power plant. And then you just got your credits on the very last page. And then the back is what I just showed you guys. The one that I, this is what I have as the front on this copy of the disc so i've put it back in its case this is the front this is the back 
the sides, the sides, the top, the bottom, nothing really special to see there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my unboxing and review of Tattoo's Happy Smiles, or however you pronounce it in Russian. <laughs> I can't do that, I'm sorry guys, but that is it. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. I would really appreciate that, and I'll see you right back here in the next video. Peace out, and chase your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.